when I served on board um, the Trident in uh, 1981, when we sailed from England uh, to Barbados, I was an able seaman. Um, I retired <coughs> in uh, 2008 as a, um, a Lieutenant Coast Guard. Um, I was the base engineering officer at the time. Um, I have some fond and very good memories of Trident uh, to sail. But before that, the, the training while we were in England and then um, sail across. Um, I remember um, we were sailing from, from um, Suffolk to, to Portsmouth and we sailed through a, a, a storm, a, a trip which normally take us, would take us uh, four hours, took us just over 24 hours uh, to make and I remember it was the first time as a, a young sailor um, seeing such big waves. <laughs> Uh, through the Eng English Channel, um, they had waves breaking across across the wheelhouse. That's the uppermost part of the deck. And I wouldn't say I was scared. Um, I was just worried at the time. But um, uh, on the trip across, like um, Ronald said, um, it was done in record time, and it was. One of the, I, I would say one of the s smoothest sailing trips I've uh, ever had. I mean, sailing through the Bay of Biscay. Um, we have heard that while we were in England how bad the Bay of Biscay is, and when we got there, I believe that um, the Lord God was on our side. In fact, He paved the way for us. And like Ronald said, two days after we passed through, a container ship sank in the Bay of Biscay. So it was there. this morning is a sad morning you know it's it's really sad to see such uh, memories go below the water um, these engines behind you um, i've mastered in fact i was one of the last uh, engineers that actually rebuilt these engines and you know from it from the time i saw them this morning you know the memories start flowing back